My name is Troy Mangum, and I will be going through a demo of the NetApp HCI vCenter plugin. In this demo, I will show you how to configure multi-tenancy for your virtual machines, how to incrementally add compute or storage nodes as your application needs increase, and how to add file data services powered by ONTAP to your HCI system. You've already installed, so let's go ahead and select Launch vSphere Client. Now after you log in, you can look around on all the items that we have pre-configured for you via the NetApp deployment engine. It takes only 45 minutes or less to have a fully functioning NetApp HCI system. Next we're going to look at the M node. The M node is the NetApp HCI management virtual machine responsible for upgrades and monitoring of your HCI system. Now let me give you an example of how you can create a VLAN dedicated to a group of virtual machines for your application tenant or division of your company. You want to name your VLAN. One of the things I want to highlight here is while you're typing out the IPs is that you can work with a range of IP addresses for your application tenant or division of your company. We make that super easy through the interface. It's that easy now all those virtual machines will get tagged to that single VLAN. Next, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a new node to your growing HCI system. You can quickly add new compute or storage nodes. In this example, it will be a storage node. The benefit of NetApp HCI's architecture is that you can grow your compute CPU and memory or storage capacity on demand. Every node you can add scales linearly directly benefiting your business application. In this example, NetApp HCI dynamically discovers a new storage node. You set that to green and we bring that online. We have made this process so quick and easy that there is no more need for large CapEx purchases that you hoped you sized correctly. You can be more agile in your business practices by leveraging OpEx as your application needs grow for compute and or storage. We will add all new nodes into a pool of performance that you control by QoS or a pool of capacity. We have made it just that simple. The last thing I will show you is how to add file data services powered by ONTAP to your NetApp HCI system. File services will be provided by ONTAP running as a virtual machine on your compute nodes. You do not need to add capacity to add file services. You can leverage the pool of capacity you already have in your NetApp HCI system. VDI is a great example of an application that would benefit from file services. You can leverage file services for VDI home directories or user profiles. I hope you enjoy these three examples of how easy it is to operate NetApp HCI through the vCenter plugin. Thank you for watching.